So what went into this decision on your side of things to return to Fort Wayne and compete for the Comets for yet another season? Uh, obviously, it's a lot of different things, and you know, it starts at the top. It includes the Franke ownership and the coaching staff, and even the players that are returning. So, uh, you know, putting all that together and talking with my family, it, we always decided it's the right decision. Now, you're originally from the state of Washington, but you're now a Fort Wayne guy. You live here full time, right? Yep, full time. So now, as um, the captain of the Comets, you were named the captain uh, back in January. Heading into a second season as a captain, what did you learn from last year's experience? Now that you're kind of Mr. Comet when it comes to this hockey team. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a little bit different when you get that C. It's there's a little bit more on your shoulders, and just you know, when things are tough, uh, you got to take a little bit more ownership of it and uh, try and right the ship and get everyone back on course. Career high 27 goals last year. Career high 30 assists. Career high 57 points last year. So, what is it that you improved upon your game last year, and how do you carry that over to the next season, where even more eyes are going to be upon you? Uh, I think a lot of it was just uh, you know trying to play the right way. That's how my game's kind of always been. And uh, for me personally, if I can get around the net within about 10 feet of it, a, a lot of the time I'm going to find myself with a chance to score. So uh, that's kind of where I had success is just going to those harder areas. And, I mean, if you're going to improve on that, it's just obviously keep doing the same things and just keep trying to work harder and get bigger and stronger. Now, the Kays made their first signings last week, signed six guys on Thursday. That includes Siebenhuller, that includes Budria, that includes DJ King, uh, that includes Matt Alvaro. So mm -hmm. knowing that a lot of the core from last year is returning, how do you go about building the chemistry for the team this upcoming season, knowing that you've got a lot of pieces in place already? Yeah, obviously, you know, as many guys as you can get back from the previous year, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, chemistry isn't built overnight. So uh, the fact that we have that many guys coming back already, it's good to know. We're already texting and talking about, you know, when people are coming into town, like what the plan is for next year. So it, it all starts there. But then once everyone else gets into town and we finally get a team formed, uh, a lot of it's just, you know, group, group activities, getting together, getting to know one another, and just uh, obviously getting to know a person on, on even an individual level. So that makes a huge difference in the locker room. So, you know, all the guys back in the room that have been there and they lost in that game seven, uh, they, they know. They know that it's going to take more than what it was last year. And obviously the guys that were here winning, uh, you know what it's like. And we just got to get back to that winning way.